and we are back continuing with the last episode of cyberpunk 2077 left off i guess we get to keep playing detective a bit longer i gotta call detective river ward this is ward who am i talking to name's v looking into the death of one lucius ryan wonder why you're not a cop Jefferson and Elizabeth Perales hired me to do it. Presumptive mayor sniffing around his predecessor's untimely death. Interesting. Done some digging, got more intel. Also interesting. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be their stat. Okay, well, I guess I don't need to because I can just... I don't need to drive because I can just go all the way to the left. And just teleport. Well, there we go. To the chubby buffaloes. Man, whoever's in the chubby buffaloes is a weirdo. Someone here to see you, looks like. Huh. Wonder what about. Yo, 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 my true shroomers and fooders, Mr. White. You live a ward? In the flesh. He, right? My partner, Detective Hunt. too short to be slow. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to me. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. Well, now I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. I can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, just let the case go. See me do anything? Just sitting here sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. Not to be punished. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be over her. Okay, thanks. Love his coat. Okay. Talk. Before the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info, dude. What was it? You know what? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay. okay. Sure. How do you know people aren't listening in inside your car? Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo shooting up dumpsters. Hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that. Because he got a good heart. Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Ashamed? Nah. It's not something you see every day. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a soon, cell that day. Soon. Before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the hush hush? No idea. Perales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first. <laughs> who would? As I see it, Perales is out to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? No, but even if he's not, the murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. They got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. Fine. We're going to 
to see my CI. Okay, I'll cool. Have his fancy ass club. No idea where he'd look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Let's go see your informer. Club's a better lead. Fine with me. My guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Great. if Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. Who is this guy? The proud proprietor. He's got all sorts of clients, and he's nosy as hell. So he knows all about everyone. Plus, he's a coward. Perfect combo. He's your CI. He doesn't know me. Well, uh, last we met, it didn't go so well for him. People he ratted out got wind of it. I think you got a better chance of getting him to talk without me. At least voluntarily. All right, wait here then. Okay, let's do this. I've been in here before. You looking for a uh, general inspiration or something specific? Because I can help with both. Looking for a club, Ray Queen's Race? If I was you, I'd try somewhere a little more welcoming. Lizzie's over in Kabuki is a good start, or Clouds in Japantown. Want an address. Look, club's invitation only, right? You don't know the address means you're not welcome. Igor says hi. Fuck no. Said I was done. I was out. Oh shit. to see here sir come on ghost I said let me alone got it can't make me do a damn thing rest assured nobody will find out you talked to us come on man be a snitch it will truly be the last time detective Ward will visit you isn't that right detective right I swear it on the spirits of my ancestors all we want is the cords for Red Queen's race. All right, but this is the last time, for real. It's outside city limits, near the river, the Nita Street area. You been there? Made some deliveries, goods, sometimes peeps. I got no idea why you want to go poking around there. The club's empty. They shut it all down. Shut it down? Before or after Mayor Ryan died? Soon after, I guess. Thanks, Neil. My shit luck! Well, well. That's what I call a breakthrough. Hell <laughs> yeah, brother. But I'd still hit that market. Market? Morvoth's employer, one I mentioned before. I just wouldn't let that lead drop. Okay. Let's go see this market of yours. We gonna take my car? Sure. Thanks. All right, let's go. that already. I say you're kind of natural. The other 10%. What's it consist of? Writing reports. Murders. So who are we supposed to talk to? Cyberpsycho's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, V. Who we're looking for? Gonna have to ask 
great. I'll start from the left. You take the right. Uh, are you? Wow. You are, aren't you? Christine Markov. Hi. Christine Markov. Christine Markov. Hello yes. there. You badges? Looking for data on Peter Horvath. Worked here, apparently. Yeah, he did. That he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. Horvath make good scratch here. Could have bought this whole marker with the chrome he was packing. <laughs> oh, yeah, made scads on scads here. Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where do you get the Eddies? Know anything? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scop to tower trash. I'd get myself an A, B, fly my fucking slim ass out of here. Peter showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. When the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about pay, though, weird doesn't mean what it means to everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. But the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath? Gonks both, but completely different gonks. These, uh, speeches, what did he have to say? Ryan, corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why'd he have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. Had to be some other connection. So as Horvath saw him, who else had it in for him? Besides Ryan? A madame president, mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was a sunstone. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. Okay, then. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Horvath had sponsors. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. Sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, Somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually. Sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. The neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. The guy whose head on was here. An accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison? A deliberate hit? You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. I was about to say, man, you've seen some shit. Great. Let me handle this way. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want to say. Come on, elections are around the corner. NCPD had to up its stats. The rest was for show. They'll let him out soon. Wash your fucking wheels, pig. Fuck off. Walking the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? Good thing nobody got killed. A little less paperwork. Okay. We're at Queen's race now. Ride with me. Sure, I'll ride with you. Let's go.
Shit! Animal turf. This is animal turf. Lock up any of theirs recently? I didn't hear any of that because we was over here having a relic attack. Twenty percent. Just in case that relic attack makes it go up another 5%. Okay, we're going a lot further down this time. Come on, V. Ah, shit! Okay. This is animal turf. Lock up any of theirs recently? Great. Uh-huh. All right. Be in touch. Oh, you're dead, motherfucker. How's that feel? Spotted. Okay. Hang on. Be right there. Another one for the pile. Getting too old for this. Why the fuck did my gun change? On. Neil doesn't tend to lie. Too scared. 
So, the club's around here somewhere. In the garage, is my guess. Well, this is the best place to start. Me out, man. Clubs and a shipping container, that's clever. Okay, I was going to say, why is he invisible now? Come on, man. Walk faster. Oh, I'm not liking this. Why the hell does it keep swapping my guns? You're my fucking tack rifle. Talk to her. Fuck. I got to do the talk. You're the detective. But I don't have a, a warrant, right? God, the audio in this fucking mission happens to be shit because it keeps cutting in and out. All their shit. Top dollar shit. Let's go.
Huh. Okay. Shit. V! You okay? V! Come on. You hear me? Breathe. Oh. Thanks for leaping into action back there. No problem. You feeling okay? <laughs> I'll live. What was that, V? You asked me. One heart attack that killed Ryan. As I said from the start. But <laughs> someone spiked his BD. That's what killed him. Fuck. I think you could be right. Come on, V. And this is an, like office. an office. Sort of. Comps are what we want. Comps above all. I just checked the damn computer. Yep. Stiff as a board. You ask me, he's been dead at least an hour. No. No trauma card. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. A uh, club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Looks like your friend is scum. Of course, nobody will see him. No way. Yep. Yes. All right, I'll buzz you later. Weird. Guy looks familiar, doesn't he? V? I'm not in the mood for jokes. I think we've seen everything we needed to. Let's go. Okay, let's Delta. I think I saw another way out on the way in. And your buddy's probably got friends to back him up. Great. Fuck. Still hanging around with this punk? Shut it, Harold. I know what you did. Not about to ask why you covered it up. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just want to know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? Your conscience is clear. You could sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. You got no idea how this city works. Think a goddamn inspirational idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. I know this town inside out. So you know how it works. At City Hall and the street. The rules are the same. Ryan knew it too. He fought for this city. Cleanly at times, dirty at others. But always with a lot of heart. Wouldn't have wanted him to get dragged through the muck. Politics bores me to tears. Every mayor... Same asshole, different suit. Not every mayor saved the city from Militech Panzers. Back when the NUSA tried to take us. But Ryan did. Think people remember that? All that matters is his death. Because it reeks of scandal. V. 
appreciate the help, but this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. How are you gonna do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be. But we should probably kill him sense. instead. You don't even gotta say. Brass's fingers are all over this. I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights though. Just go home or get some sleep. Find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. Last good cop in Night City. <sighs> Should have fed him some lead as a goodbye. Only way to be sure. Maybe it is. But it's not my wavy. Holt murdered Ryan. Wanted his seat. All this tritest motive in the book. That's why I believe it. Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. I also think it was Holt. Only one who stood to gain. Taking this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. Do it. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay. Observe a little. Thanks, V. Don't die, man. Pretty good idea what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting. Oh, <sighs> why can't there ever be a fast travel right next to these fucking things? God damn it, there was one right by it, motherfucker. B, it's a good thing you answered. I could probably use your help. Th probably. Fine. I could really use your help. Can we meet? Deep breaths, Pan Am. Tell me what's going on. Do you remember Saul? The leader of the clan I left? Yeah, he's trying to kill you? I had a fallen out or something. Doesn't matter right now. He... They nabbed him. This is just not suitable for a call, V. Just tell me when and where. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Swing by the Aldecaldos camp. I'll explain it all. The Aldecaldos? Thought you parted ways. Oh, look, it's a long story. Just hurry over. I'm here. What a shit always gotta happen when I'm in the middle of another fucking mission. I'm listening. Don't tell him nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. Suck you in if you're not careful. If I don't give him something, they're not gonna pay me. We'll manage without that. 
There's no sense in which you gotta eat. Fine, do whatever the fuck you want. Not like you listen anyway. Hello, V. Please, come in. Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. Swear to God, if they try to off me. Please, have a seat. Thank you. Good to see you, V. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. It's not 100% clear what happened. Hardly anything ever is. But? Yeah, I got some idea. It was an accident. Ryan was murdered by a BD. Holtz behind it. V? Ryan was murdered. At a sex club. Someone gave him a virus spiked BD. You sure? Yeah, same BD almost wiped me. So yeah, I'd say I'm sure. Got any idea who did it? Can't say for sure, but a lot of things point to Weldon Holt. I knew it! You got any proof? I don't. Just, uh, strong suspicions. That's all we need to know, Jeff. We have to be careful. Keep a close eye on Holt. And up our security. You're right. As always, you're right. Thanks for your help, V. Your fee. Glad I could help. Hey there. Now, where did we leave off? Waiting for it. Any bounties? Nope. They're just Careful. civilians. Wait. And Q Johnny coming to gloat or nah? Job updated. Job complete. So, now that that's done, with that everybody, as usual, we've run out of time with this episode, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and hopefully catch you on the next one. Goodbye everybody, see you later.